Hey, I haven't had a chance to unwrap this yet. It's the Macross 30 Voices Across the Galaxy limited edition box set arrived over the weekend from Ami. Ami. It's a nice box and of course beautiful Hedytaka Tenjin box art. This is Probably one of my most favorite things about buying these limited edition packs. Uh, you've got the Fire Valkyrie. YF-19. There's the Hikaru VF-1S. It's a VF-11. There's the YF-30. The main character of the game. You have the YF-29. And the VF Zero, so beautiful Hedy Taka Tenjin box art, worth the price of admission. Of course, these are wrapped very nicely. Ah, yeah, nice quality plastic. So, be careful not to uh, damage this. And there's a better shot of the box art. It's very nice. Of course, you have the game. Looking forward to trying it out this weekend. The cover, very nice character art. There's a uh, Min May at the top, Mylene, Cheryl Ronka on the right, and the two new characters for Macross 30. There's the back of the game case. You see some in game screenshots for Japan only. Yeah, beautiful game case. Okay, up next it looks like it's a character illustration book. See it's not too thick. Paper quality is very nice. There's the back. The nice Macross 30 logo. And you can see that. Super Dimension Fortress Macross, Macross 7, Macross Plus, Macross Zero, Macross Frontier, a Macross 30 original. Very nice. Some of the R that's inside. Um, very nice. Aha! Uh -huh. Haruhiku Mikimoto. Again, this is not too different from something that you could find in the gold book. Basara. It's the fire valk. Myung. The YF-19 cockpit. That's very nice, actually. And there's everyone's favorite Alpha One Sarah Gnome Ozma Lee Ranka Lee Luca Clan Ooh, check this out. I like that. Very nice. VF25F CG art the G the armored VF25S tornado pack again this is probably uh, materials you've seen before online I don't think these are the CG models that they used in game and uh, 
some more uh, art from the new characters. There's the YF30. All right, very nice. Check this out. Up next, you have uh, it looks like the history of Macross video games. Isn't that neat? So there you go, 30 years. Even though we haven't had many games, it's nice that they've covered all of them. Okay, I'm just going to flip through a couple of pages here. 1999. I believe that's the version that came with the DAYRL hybrid pack. It came as a um, downloadable freebie. The Macross video game for the Sega Saturn, or is that the PlayStation? Okay. Okay, here's some games that I'm more familiar with. There's Macross Ace Frontier, which was released in 2008. And this is the game that I've uh, beaten most of. Uh, Macross Ultimate Frontier, released in 2009. Great game, by the way. Definitely looking forward to playing um, this game, uh, Macross 30. Looking forward to putting in a lot of time with it this weekend. Okay, neat. What is that on the back? Popcorn. <laughs> hey, check that out. Nice, nice, nice. Look at that. Um, that... That's pretty cool. Looks like a Game Boy cartridge, uh, Super Famicom. You have your disc, you have your UMD. I don't know what's up with this. That's pretty interesting right there. Uh, Famicom, diskette, and your floppy. Wow. That's cool. Okay, looks like we also have promos from the various 30th anniversary events. Of course, these were probably all events that were for folks that lived overseas. Okay, so let's open this up. All right, check that out. I actually have the larger poster of this for the DYRL um, Blu-ray disc. Very nice art. It's nice to have a smaller version of this poster. Alright. Macross, the design at Parco. I believe this was the gallery exhibition. I would have loved to attend this. I actually would have liked to attend any of these events. I mean, it's really um, unfortunate that the fans in the U.S. can't experience this kind of Macross events. That's just really awesome. I mean, I did get, a, I did get to see... Uh, Mayan and Cheryl, or Mayan and uh, Megumi Nakajima when they went to Anime Expo. Oh, this is pretty nice. Yeah, I saw them, uh, was, was it two or three years ago? Okay, what's this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. And it looks like a. And more events. There's the SDF1. Neat. Okay, and one more item. Um, these are the reproduction character cells. These have um, been included with the last three um, Macross movie Blu-ray releases. I'd actually like to frame these, and I'll show you these in a second. All right, this is what I'm talking about. You have your reproduction um, cells. Very thin paper. But these are perfect for framing. I really should be framing these because they look very nice. Sate Light, digital 16 by 9. There's Hikaru. Ah, that is awesome. Check that out. Perfect for framing. I'll just show you a few more. 
But wow, that is really neat. It looks like there's about about 50 of them in here. So, wow, sorry. Here's another Cheryl one. I'm a huge Cheryl fan. Look at that. That's neat. And there's Min May. Man. Oh, look at that. That's just... Yep. I need to frame these. Mm-hmm. Oh, here. My Quest Plus fans. Sweet. Again, I believe these are all from in-game cutscenes. Try to find one of Misa, so... Gosh, hold on. Let me see if I can find it. Oh. I'm not going to stop until I find one of Misa. Mene. Sarah. Don't tell me there's one. Isamu. I am going to keep flipping through these until Max and Miria. Camjin. Oh, look at that. There's Camjin. You. I am going to keep flipping through these until I find Misa. Oh, yes. Oh, you know what? I don't see him. Oh, here you go. Check that out. Yeah, boy. All right. So that is everything in the box. Again, great box set. I'm going to be playing it this weekend. I'll let you know what I think about that and maybe in a future video. Again, request 30 for the PS3. Go get yours today.